this week on Hello Heart Dough, we are actually going to be featured in the Denver Pride Parade. We're here at the location for my drunk kitchen, and the person we're drunk kitcheninging with is super good at arts and crafts. So we're gonna deck out the RV and go super parade heavy. I've been costume designing for at least a decade. Yes, that's a Magneto it's helmet. It's a Magneto helmet. I made that for X Men the Musical. <laughs> We're making our decorations for tomorrow's float in the Pride Parade. It's gonna very creatively say Hello Harto on the side. And we bought a bunch of other stuff so we can figure out where to go from there. Coming to you from out of the closet. Hello! Good, we're gonna give her some red Eyebrows. <laughs> there you go. Well, here we are. We are heading off to go decorate the RV for the Pride Parade. Our last Sunday and our earliest call time, and I think we're all doing really well. I, for one, am happy to be <laughs> awake right now. <laughs> Denver Pride last year, I think it was 325,000 people that came. There should be about 600,000 people in Denver Pride this year. I'm very excited to be here with the Hello Hard Joe team. It's been a lot of fun putting together all of the shenanigans. We decided to make for my show a little hood ornament, let's say. She's really amounting to something with her life. It's a small miracle that we pulled it off. We got into Denver late yesterday. The theme that we're going with is famous gay people through history, and more specifically, people who were famous for something other than being gay. No one can make you feel inferior without your consent. Keep your face always toward the sunshine, and the shadows will fall behind you. We can only see a short distance ahead, but we can see plenty there that needs to be done. Don't judge a picture by its frame. Every man is not the same. Now that we're all dressed up and the RV is decorated, we, we gotta go figure out how to do a parade. celebration of who you are and what you stand for as a person. Anybody can be excited for pride and really express themselves no matter who you are. Everyone is filled with such positivity and encouragement and has been so friendly coming by. I don't know, it's, it's kind of infectious. It just seems like everyone is happy to be here and happy to express themselves and full of love and acceptance. My drunk kitchen, Hannah Hart. Well, we just finished with the parade, and I have to say that that experience was simultaneously exhausting and exhilarating. Overall, Pride is pretty powerful. Pretty packed with penises. That was alliteration. Liberace, liberace me. Hey. Or at least it wasn't like that um, at all for me. Guys, come check this out.